In today's video, we will be doing the first modification to the 2020 BMW G2330 E. But before we get to that, I hope you are doing well and that your loved ones are doing well and that you are staying safe. That is the most important thing during this crazy time we are experiencing in the world at the moment. So I hope you are all good. And with that said, then what's not better than to do a modification to stay positive. So today we will be doing something to the front of the BMW and that is replacing the grill I have on now. It is actually a rather good looking grill in my opinion. And we opted for the Shadowline black package or the extended one. I can't remember in which of those packages this blacked out grill is included. Otherwise, we have a chrome trimming around the grill itself, which I hate. So I opted for the Shadowline and the extended Shadowline black package to get what we have today. However, as we go down on the, oh, we don't go down on the bumper. <laughs> as we move our way further down on the bumper, you can see we have a honeycomb style type of mesh here and we have these vertical slots on the grill and I don't think that works that well together. So what we will be doing is installing a OEM BMW piece and that is a diamond style grill as they call it. And I think that will go much better with the honeycomb that we have on the lower portion of the bumper. So with that said, let's open up the package and see what the grill looks like. Here we have it and man, oh man, does it look good. I can already now say, in my opinion, it will look much more aggressive than the OEM we have on. And this is then a full gloss black version. There are other versions available as well, but as I have gloss black on other parts of the front of the car, I opted for the gloss black one. And also you need to consider if you have the Park Assist Plus, meaning you have the 360 view cameras, you need to get the version with support for the camera. As you can see, there's a hole for the front facing camera here. And here, is it. here it is on the OEM one. So without any further ado, let's pop the hood and get going with the install. Before we start to remove the grill itself, we need to remove this cover and that is held in place by push pins as we have here. And also we need to shift this backwards in order to remove it and potentially we need to remove this weather sealing. And then we start removing the tabs which holds the grill in place and hopefully we won't break anything. So what I will be using are this plastic uh, trim removal tools which have different heads which we can get into and remove the center piece before we can remove the whole clip. And under here we have a Torx T30 holding the top of the grill in place. So for that we have a Torx T30 screwdriver as well. So with that said then, let's start removing uh, the push pins and then we'll see how we take it on from there. Now we have all of the push pins out uh, what we need to do is then remove this cover i will try to remove it without removing the weather seal let's see how that goes if it doesn't work we just uh, rip the seal off and just put it back So now with the cover removed, I just saw I had to remove a piece of the weather sealing as well. Here we have a torque size 30, which we need to remove. And then we can start removing the clips holding the grill in place. And we'll try not to drop this into the engine bay somewhere. 
right? Like so. And then we can have a look at the new grill. So in order to know where we have clips, so these on the top, we can actually see with our eyes, but then we have clips on the side here, which we need to consider and also on the bottom when we are removing the OEM grill so we don't break anything. So we'll start off with the top and see if we can work our way from one side to the other or if we have to work from one side into the middle and from the other side into the middle as well. What we will be doing next is then to push these clips down as you can see on the top here and at the same time try to pull the grill outwards in order to release the tabs and then we'll work our way downwards. They're sitting quite hard and there's actually quite a lot of tension. It's always a little bit scary to remove clips like this, but hopefully we can get these out without breaking anything. Finally, we got it loose. Let me hold this in place while I move the camera a little bit closer. We have the camera module right here, which we need to unclip. So there are two clips on each side, which we just push to the side and carefully remove the camera and we can put it in place here at the moment. We have the grill out and as always, it's a little bit scary. <laughs> to pop these clips out, but we didn't break any as far as I can see, so we are good to go. What we need to do now is then to take the new grill, put the camera in place and push everything back in its place. So I will start with plugging the camera back into the new grill. Just make sure that it's correctly fitted. And then what we'll start to do is then to Pushing everything back into place. And we we'll line up everything before we do that. The cable for the camera is good to go. Just push everything back into its place. No more clicking. Like so. And we didn't break anything. I'm happy. We start the reassembly after the grill is in place is to reinstall the screw with the Torx. And then we have this piece here. Like so, I believe. Everything is lined up. Yes. Then we put back the weather seal. Next is then to reinstall the push pins. You need to have them in this position because if you push the pin down, it actually presses this, these two pieces out, which is then locking the push pin itself in place. So it needs to be in this position. And we just align the two panels together or covers. And then we push the pin down to lock it in place. And then we continue our way to the other side in similar fashion, right? So that was that for the install. Let's close the hood and see what it looks like. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think it took more than 20 minutes to do everything from start to finish. And that is with the recording that is. So it is a rather simple job. And in my opinion, it looks fantastic. We'll do some B-rolls. I think we need to do that tomorrow, potentially when we have some more light. Or as you can see maybe now already, that it is looking really, really good. In my opinion, it looks much more aggressive than the OEM one we had on. So, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. As I mentioned, I'll link to the product down below in the description. 
and also if you have any questions at all just hit me up in the comment section below and i will answer them the best i can do remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay notified for any new content that i will be uploading we have a bunch of stuff coming for this car and we have a bunch of stuff coming for this car so stay tuned and give me one thumbs up and i'll see you on the next one